Hey, what's up everybody? This is Muth24, and this is the unboxing video for the uh, Evangelion Unit 5, the mass production model from End of Evangelion. Uh, as I mentioned in the uh, package delivery video, this is the uh, the less posable version, the one that is easier to find. I think they made more uh, copies of it when they went to uh, produce the model. Yeah, there's another version that you can get that is far more posable, comes with some different characters, uh, but it's really hard to find, and relatively expensive compared to this one. Uh, so until the day I can find that that, or that one in a, uh, a good price range, uh, we're going to have to settle for this one for now. Um, I do know that this one comes with some stickers for like the mouth and stuff, um, but I will be painting the uh, wings and everything on this. So popping this sucker open, first thing you get this kit right off the bat is the uh, Two figures of Kaji and uh, Asuka. You got the stickers here for the mouth. See what I'm saying? They're like the foil stickers. So they've got kind of a shimmery red, and then there's the standard white, and you got pink for the neck and the uh, chest area. And you got the sides of the arms and everything. But you do have his big. Uh, I don't remember what that weapon's called, to be honest, but it's basically like the Lance of Longinus that they carry uh, transform into these big blade things. Or rather, the blades transform into their Lance of Longinus. Sorry. Um, one cool thing about this kit, though, is you do get two different heads. You get the uh, AV Unit 5 just kind of, you know, staring like you normally would. And then you get the creepy, like, uh, bent backwards neck. It's like kind of sneering and staring down another Ava. Uh, I believe these are the parts of the shoulder connections. There's some of the arms. Uh, here are the wings, which are absolutely massive. They're, just, they're huge. You get two of them. The only thing I'm kind of disappointed about with these is that uh, one side of these is supposed to be black, and both sides are white. So uh, that's what I was talking about when I said I had to paint these. But get better at my painting skills, I suppose. Um, here are the arms, and with most Evangelion kits, you get the uh, the arms that are pre-built with all the little gears and mechanics inside of them, and then they get those rubbery material around them. And these ones are just plastic. Uh, so that's a bit of a disappointment, but I do know that the other version comes with the uh, traditional bendy rubber arms. Uh, looking at this, you got the chest piece, uh, tops of the feet, got more parts for the uh, torso area, the legs, the waist, the connections with the shoulder, and the uh, entry plug area. Although I do believe these things run on uh, dummy plugs, not. Uh, Standard pilots. There's the kneecaps, front of the chest. There's the ankle guards. On the back, you've got the uh, little cap pieces that go on the uh, ends of the wings. There's the little ball joints that I think connect from the backpack to the wings themselves. And then this big piece uh, kind of rides off the back of the AV Unit 5. Here's all his uh, different hands. Got a trigger hand, open palm hand, closed fist hand. I presume these are all the same hands that you get with uh, any of the other older Evangelion kits. And then this one here is like a really dark gray. Eh, I guess this is technically black, isn't it? I was thinking it looked really dark gray, but uh, yep, these are all molded in black here. You get the uh, torso bits, or sorry, the chest pieces for the inside. You get the uh, feet. Little uh, hip joints for the legs there. The uh, elbow bits. The pallet rifle, which I don't understand why this one comes with the pallet rifle, but I suppose I just use the same tree over. As an entry plug. And this is actually out of the bag, which is interesting. Um, but anyway, you've got feet and what is this? Um, this piece goes to the neck. That's what it is. And then uh, backs of the feet. So I don't know which ones I'm supposed to use. If I'm supposed to use these ones or the ones that were already included. Unless they didn't have feet in there. Maybe they didn't. Well, I guess they didn't have the bottom of the feet. I'm wondering why those are outside of a bag, though. Uh, at any rate, there's the instruction manual. Some uh, shots of it in action. 
it's all cool and whatnot. There's a shot of the Avian 5 looking as creepy as ever, but I love the end of Evangelion, so I had to pick this kid up. And there he is flying. As there's an explosion behind him. So, um, yep, that's pretty much it for uh, this guy. Like I said, I will be uh, painting him. And I will go over the instruction manual in more detail when I get to the uh, actual review of the kit. Um, yep, this should be an interesting build. Uh, most of the time, the Evangelion kits don't take me all that long. I mean, they take me longer than a, uh, a high-grade Gundam kit, but uh, nothing close to like the level of time it takes me to build the Master Grade. And considering this one isn't quite as posable, I'm guessing it'll probably take even less time than most uh, Evangelion kits take me. So, uh, yep, you guys can look for a review of this whenever I finish it. And with that, I will see you guys next time.